When I got the page, I thought something's not kosher. Now that I see we're all here, I'm certain of it. Yeah, I'm sure Benny just called us here for some kind of briefing, no? Okay, yeah, we'll drive it over here. I put in a 911 to our backup. You called in a code 7. That's a last resort call. I'm telling you something's not right. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Brian, where's Benning? Well, the captain asked me to meet you at his place. He said he received a suspicious page from you calling him to an emergency meeting. As soon as we got the code seven, we were on our way. We didn't send any pages, Wesley. But captain, you're the only person authorized. Damn it, I know that. This means we're looking at a major security breach. And the only thing more serious would be if your team's cover was blown. That's it up there. We're approaching the rendezvous point. Now, you've succeeded in infiltrating the Syndicate's families. You've gathered enough evidence to shut them down for good. Now, I speak for the captain when I say this is the most effective deep cover operation we've ever had. Building 43. Let's have a look around. Unfortunately, gentlemen, Operation Broadside, it's terminated. Whoa. We're on the verge of putting these guys away. Well, see, that's the problem. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, boys. We're going in. Captain Benning, we have a field emergency. All four deep cover officers have been shot. It prowls the streets in the pursuit of justice. Its origins are secret. Its technology, 21st century. Its existence, officially disavowed. But its presence, undeniable. The perfect weapon for an imperfect future. Viper. in your vicinity. Hold on, I'll patch you through. This is Condor 1, over. This is Special Agent Cole. I'm in pursuit of a blue talon. Last seen heading east in the Telford rail yard, over. Roger that, I'm covering the area. Is that you, 
the red viper call? Just give me a lock on the Talon Condor One. Copy that. Still looking. One, do you have a visual on the town? Uh, turn right at 12th Street. Condor One, I need a precise location. Sorry, Bo, I got a cold three downtown. I gotta run. Condor One out. It had to have been a syndicate hit. The mob must have pulled their covers. Yeah, but four cops infiltrated into four different families. I mean, how could they all be exposed at the same time? It had to be set up by someone on the inside. Another cop? We're gonna find out. What do you say we start with Captain Benny? Well, forget it, Cole. I've known the man my whole life. He's incorruptible. Well, I'm not accusing him of anything. But he is Metropole's oversight officer in Operation Broadside. If you want to question him, go ahead. I mean, I'm sure he'll tell you everything he knows. You're not coming along? It'd be like interrogating my father. You can handle this one on your own. Not for a while, you can't. Benning's behind closed doors. The police commission convened an emergency inquest into the murders about a half an hour ago. Well, our only other lead is the Condor pilot. Did you pull his file, Allie? Mm hmm Lieutenant Mitchell Gage, ex-air cab, career sky cop, spotless record. Yeah, and a liar. What are you talking about? I checked the dispatch records. There was no Code 3 issued to the Condor this afternoon. You ditched me on purpose? And this guy is flying Metropole's aerial equivalent of the Viper? Wait a minute, hold on, OK? There's no comparison. The fact is, Gage pilots a powerful aircraft with state-of-the-art surveillance equipment. If he would have stuck to that chase, whoever killed those cops would be behind bars right now. That's why I've arranged to go undercover in the Condor Division. I'll be flying with Gage in the morning. A police department spokesperson reported the four gun down officers were involved in a highly sensitive operation, and they are not releasing their names at this time. When asked if there were any suspects in these murders, the spokesperson said, not at this early stage. I don't know a cop in this city who wouldn't love to have five minutes alone with the guys who did this. I do. Huh? Nothing. Hey, uh, why don't you take off, Britt? I'll put her to bed. You sure? Yeah, yeah, get out of here. See you in the morning, man. Okay. Damn! Careful, Gage. That's city property. You murdering son of a bitch! Nice work today. Keeping that red car off my tail? Nice. Are oh, you assuring me? Hey, Mitch, no one gets hurt. I was just doing my job. Those boys were in the way. Of what? The payday of a lifetime? You take the top four syndicates in the city and you pool the resources, you can come up with a mighty attractive salary. Now they asked me to flush out some moles. I get a hold of Benning's access codes, which gets me in any files I want, and I do it. Four cops, man. You killed four cops and made me an accessory. Now, I didn't buy in for this. Not in murder. You bought in because your ex-wife spent every penny you made. And even more that you didn't. You're not too good with women, are you, Gage? Well, guess what? You're not broke anymore. Well, you can even make your next child support payment. No, no, you know what? Keep your money. I don't want it. Well, you think you can pull out simple as that? You said it yourself. You are an accessory. Those were good cops. We were all good cops once. Now, I told you they were in the way. So you just kill whoever gets in your way, is that it? If it means setting myself up, never having to worry about anything for the rest of my life? <laughs> you bet your ass I do. Now, I promised you a big payday, too, didn't I? Well, now that this infiltration problem is behind us, we're clear to carry on with our plan. And it's going to put six figures in your pocket, and it's guaranteed. No more. No more. I'm out, baby. You know, the Syndicate boys, they had no problems calling in the chips to take care of those cops.
So you bail on me now, you'll wind up like them. You think about it, Gage. Six figures. And all you gotta do is be in the sky when we need you. Till morning. I've been answering questions all night. You do want to find out who did this, don't you, Captain? Isn't that why we're on the case? Of course I do. Those men were operating under my watch. I was responsible for every one of them. So who do you think called the meeting? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? You didn't know anything about it? No. And I resent the inference that I did, whether it comes from you or those jackasses on the commission. I'm just trying to get to the truth here, Captain. We all are. We know the deep cover men all received coded messages on their pagers, which brought them to building 43. The only people who had access to the pager numbers or the codes were me and the four cops. Officially, no one else has higher security clearance. Is there a chance someone could have dug out the information? I don't know any security system that's 100%. Do you? So it could have been anyone. The syndicate, another cop. Can you have those pagers released to me? Yeah, well, if you're heading the investigation, then I guess they're yours. <laughs> Listen, I'm beat. And the bottom line is, I don't have a clue. All right, go home and get some rest. I'll call you if anything comes up. Yeah, you do that. Uh, by the way, why didn't Cameron come with you? She said it would be like interrogating a father. And that's just like her. Daryl! Oh, Vic. What are you doing here at this hour? Actually, I was looking for you. I guess they gave you quite a grilling upstairs, huh? Yeah, five hours in the hot seat. That's a sad thing to see. Cops turning on cops. What do you mean? I mean you're coming with me. Now move. That's quite an impressive piece of machinery. I could say the same. Can I help you? Officer Westlake. Rick Daly. I'm the mechanic for this bird. And I'm the new flight trainee. You are? Is there a problem? I think you better talk to Lieutenant Gage. He's over there. Thanks. To be honest, sir, I don't feel this is the appropriate time to saddle me with the inexperienced, wet-behind-the-ears rookie. Well, she's a rookie as far as flight assignments go. I understand. Yes, sir. Got a towel, Lieutenant? Excuse me? I think I need to dry off behind my ears. You're the flight trainee. The rookie you've been saddled with. Look, I'm, I'm sorry if I... Uh... Got caught? Cameron Westlake. Mitchell Gage, look about this uh, training program. You have no idea how I had to wrangle to get this assignment. Covering the city from the air is something I've always dreamed of doing. I was just telling the captain that this might not be the best time for me. Why not? Personal reasons. I've been thinking about taking a leave of absence. Would that take effect today? You really want to go up, don't you? That's why I'm here, Lieutenant. OK. Come on. Look at that. Positive 4G capability. It's amazing. You imagine redlining a 260 straight up in a helicopter? Virtually, maybe, but I'll give the real thing a pass. I mean, check this out. Look at this. Infrared windshield, 
satellite technology and the surveillance systems. You know, if you're thinking about a Christmas present... It sounds like you have a case of gadget envy. Oh, come on. I'll put up our car against this rototiller anytime. You got them. All four of them. Hey, you know, I was thinking about getting a beeper. Oh, man, what is that, blood? They were on the murdered cops. That's how they got called to the train yard. You think you can dig anything out of them? Well, encoded in every message is the phone number it's called from. I mean, it doesn't appear on the pager's display, but it is stored in memory. I can break the code. It'll just take some time. No, I'm counting on you, Ellie. You get the caller's number, we'll know who led those guys to their deaths. The main rotor can take a direct hit from a 50 caliber shell and still bring you safety home. Night vision site is built directly into the windshield. We got high-resolution digital cameras that can read the date on the dime at 3,000 feet. The Condor has a communication system that can tap into anything from a kid on the walkie-talkie to strategic air command. You got the world at your fingertips up here. You know, that's the whole idea. You really love this, don't you? That's all I ever wanted to do. Well, they say you're the best pilot in the force. I never would have got this assignment if the brass didn't have the confidence. So what happened yesterday? What do you mean? Weren't you involved in pursuing the getaway car after those four cops were killed? I saw in my report. There was a federal agent on the ground chasing a suspect's vehicle. He called for aerial support and then radio back that he had the situation under control. He must have lost him after I left the scene. There's a rumor floating around the department that it was another cop that sold those guys out. If it's true, they should hang the bastard. So do you believe it's true? I hate to think so, but you know how it is. Every cop gets his hands a little dirty sometimes. How'd you like it? You know, I could get used to this assignment. You, uh, heading back to Central? Yeah, I got a report on. Do me a favor, file that report on that robbery suspect we ran down. No problem. I'm the trainee. And be back here at 4 for another patrol. Yes, sir. Hey, Mitch. Yeah? Is that your daughter? Yeah. She lives with her mom in Phoenix. You see her much? A couple of times a year. She's beautiful. Thanks. She is. You know what? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would the syndicate draw heat on itself with a hit like this? Four dead cops. It's pretty high profile. The only thing I can figure is there's something big going down, and the deep cover guys were in the way. Must be one hell of a job to take that kind of a risk. Hey, I got it. That's the phone number the last page was called from. Now we'll just cross-feed that into the Metro directory. And the page came from a payphone. Could have been anyone. Well, we have three more to try. You're gonna kill him, Rand! Hear that? We don't want that. One more time. They risk. I told you! I don't know what you're talking about! You thought you were going to take a fall in front of the commission? That's nothing compared to what's going to happen to you here. Vic! You can't do this! Give up the location, Harold. I can't! And you're going to take a flying leap. Harold! I'll kill you! What's up? Metro! Carnage and shipping. That's the front company? Yes! Red, what are you doing? Uh... Red, what Shut are you up doing? and fly! If we can maximize the timing and fuel curve, we can boost the performance by 10%. <laughs> you know, it's not that I don't appreciate the input, Cole, but do I intrude in your world behind the wheel? Sometimes. Yeah, well... Dealing with automobile engines is a lifelong zen-like journey for me. It all began, so to speak, in my Uncle Vinny's garage in Schenectady. That's the last pager call. Same number. Did you get the location on the payphone? Sixth and Main, middle of downtown. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Westlake. Having never had the pleasure, I have to say that is the definitive fashion statement for you. Not now, Frankie. What's wrong? They killed Harold Benning. Oh, no. I'm really sorry, Cam. Yeah. You know, he gave me this assignment. If it wasn't for him, I'd still be writing traffic tickets. Hey, look, Westlake, about that fashion statement remark. Forget it. How did he die? Some hikers found him in the middle of nowhere. Every bone in his body was broken. Oh, man, they beat him that badly? No, it's more like he fell from a high distance. Like a helicopter. You were with Gage all day, weren't you? I left the Condor hangar around 12. Picked up the news when I left Central 20 minutes ago. Allie, grab the spectroscope. You're coming with me. I doubt there'll be any usable fingerprints. I'll give it a shot. I'll start with this cappuccino guy across the street. Maybe somebody around here remembers seeing who made those calls. All right, thanks anyway. Okay. came in around three. So we'll fast forward. There's no one there. There. Freeze it. Push in. And add a little resolution. I know that guy. Victor Rand is a detective from Metropole. But I just saw his name somewhere. Do you have Gage's personnel file? Mm hmm right there. There it is. Gage's letter of recommendation to be placed in the Condor Division. Signed by Detective Victor Rand. What's your take on Gage? <laughs> he's got nice guy written all over him, but I guarantee you he's in this up to his ears. That report on the pursuit is a work of fiction. Frankie, get down to Metropole, put a tracer on Rand's car. Okay, on my way. This has to be about something more than just killing cops. My guess is the syndicates want them exposed and out of their way because there's something big going down. The cops would have stopped them. We stay on Rand, we might be able to finish the job that these deep cover guys gave their lives for. Okay. okay, Detective Rand. What's one of these babies is yours, huh? up on the tracker? Yeah, Rand made a phone call on the way over. 
He was talking about the giant payday they'll have tomorrow. I'm gonna see what's going on in there. Drop it. Look, guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I was just passing through town. I must have taken a wrong turn. You don't know how true that is. I knew Benny by reputation only. I always heard he was one of the good guys. He was like family to me. We used to call him uncle when I was a little girl. I didn't realize you were so close. I'm sorry. Whoever's responsible for killing him, they're the ones that are going to be sorry. That's it. All right. Load up those crates. Look, I don't know what you guys got going here. And to tell you the truth, I don't want to know. Who the hell are you? My name's Eddie Morris. I was looking for a gas station. Like I said, I took a wrong turn. I thought somebody in here could give me directions. Is it a habit of yours to carry a gun, Eddie? I'm on the road a lot. The streets are pretty dangerous these days. Let me see that. I've got a permit. Oh, I'll bet you do. Beretta 92F, federal issue. Let's find out who this guy is and kill him. Frankie, Cole's been away from the car too long. So, get those little fingers working, let's take a look around. You read my mind. My girlfriend in a sack with a cowboy. I hit the road three days ago, and I'm just cruising to the coast. Well, cut the bull! You're either a fed or you're with internal affairs. Now, which is. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see that. <clears throat> now, what about the car? I stole the car. I was gonna ditch it around here. Split. This guy's very good. Much more of a challenge than the last one. We had all that altitude to persuade him. <laughs> the old man, he gave up the location like a baby spitting up formula. The pro can't handle these guys, Frankie. You gotta take remote control of the defender and stop them. All right. <clears throat> now you gotta come clean. buy some dope, I was supposed to meet my connection here. At least I thought it was here. I must have gotten the wrong warehouse. Sorry, man. You're way too healthy to be a junkie. And I'm afraid you've heard too damn much. Guys, 
Can I get these cuffs off here before you kill me? Got it. Are all the files from Benning's office. Police reports, appointment books, calendars, it's all in here. I don't see how anyone could live like this. Well, Benning kept meticulous records, but he was from the old school. He didn't like computers. He kept all his files and notes on paper. It's rather quaint, don't you think? Now, he gave up some kind of secret to Rand before he was sent into a free fall. If we find out where that is, we'll know what he's hitting today. Hey, you know, we can use all the help we can get. Where, where's Westlink? Mm, Gage called. Told her he needed to talk. You're not a trainee, are you, Cameron? I put up that week of front. You had me for a while. Then I realized you were asking too many of the wrong kind of questions. If you're ready to talk, I'm ready to listen. Maybe I'm not. Tell me the truth, and we'll try and get you some leniency. What? Life instead of the gas chamber? It's not my call. Rand is uh, one of those guys I've known for years. Always had something going on the side. Yeah, a few times he tried to pull me in. But I guess I didn't need the money like I did this time. Honestly, when I helped him get away, I didn't know he killed those cops. By that time, you were in way over your head. Yeah, and all I wanted to do was find a way out, but it was too late. As soon as I heard they were dead, I knew I'd thrown everything away. My honor, my career, my freedom. And worst of all, I took away from my daughter, a father she could be proud of. What's going down today, Mitch? I don't know. All I know is something big. It has something to do with Metro Cartage and shipping. What's that? I don't know. It's... Uh, that's what Rand got out of Benny before he dumped him out of the condor. I'll call this into my partners. Then we'll take a ride downtown. Set your guns on the floor. I'm not carrying. Well, I know you are. Let's go. Both of you in the chopper, now. Move! Move, move, come on, move it! Move! You, open that door. Open, get in the back seat. Handcuff her to that seat. This ought to keep anyone from trying to shoot us down. Now, let's get this thing up in the air. Go screw yourself. Can hey, you pull this crap on me now? I'll not only punch holes in you right here, I'll make sure your daughter takes a few as well. Now, get in! Start this thing up. I don't get it, Ren. What could be worth all this? Why would I tell you? Come on, move! Thursday at 11 o'clock, Benning paid a visit to a place called Metro Cartage and Shipping. Let me see that. You think he was meeting with someone? No, he was taking inventory. Right. I mean, look at these sheets. Metro Cartage and Shipping letterhead. Each one dated a week apart every Thursday. Oh, look at this. 160 pounds in heroin, 1,600 carats of loose-cut diamonds, a Lamborghini, 859,000 in cash. This all looks like confiscated goods. Yeah, but confiscated by whom? The police. This shipping company is a front for a forfeiture warehouse. Right. 
Every big city has one. It's where the cops store illegal and recovered goods taken during arrests. The key is high security, low profile. And since Benning oversaw the infiltration of the syndicates, he had to keep track of what was in there. Rand's working with the mob guys to get it all back. But first he had to murder the deep cover cops so the whole plan would have gone crashing down. I'm heading down the rally. Call Matcher Paul, tell him I'm gonna need backup. Head west till we hit Baxley Road. What the hell is that? This is why we're up here, Mitch. See, it's the Condor's airborne transport is what I really need. Just insert this little disc into the onboard computer. We jam all telephone and radio signals for a five-mile radius. Chief Wells, please. Please hold. Hello? Hello? Mine were dead. Because I switched this over to our microwave comm system. It's not subject to radio frequency interruption. you have to look like one of them. What are you talking about? Redirecting the mirrors on the hologram projector so that instead of throwing an image of a car on the street, we use it to disguise the Defender. Can you project a sedan? How about a green LHS? Coming right up. Outside, pal. So you really got this thing tricked out. Here's a trick you'll really like. Weapons and 
and lock yourselves in the cage now. your handiwork with the flare gun? Him or me. What are you going to do with Lieutenant Gage? I'll take care of him. I got to do it, Mitch. Yeah, I know. I earned it. Backup's on their way. You want me to take him in? Sure. Hold on. OK, now I'm ready. Sorry about everything, Westlake. Yeah. Me too. 